Hi, I just want to show you a short video of my Kenwood KR-9600. Very nice condition. We totally went through the unit. Um, we did recap the output boards and did a lot of different updates to the unit, so you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, we did put all new heat sink on all the power amps and all the transistors. Checked all the components inside and also what's really nice and a lot of the units out there don't have it we did upgrade the front panel to all LED lighting um, and that's pretty important you don't want the bulbs to go or get really hot the old condenser bulbs do have issues and your actual switches here on the side where it's showing your A B all your different lights there you don't want you don't want to have to replace them down the road so it's, it's a good idea to do a professional upgrade you know we did all do the LED lights in this now this unit factory comes in a case this never had you know a lot of the units out there don't have the wooden case and they have a black bottom this has a silver bottom with special vent holes in the bottom made for the wooden case. This came with the wooden case. Um, this is a, a 220 and 110 version. Has the switch on the back. Pretty nice, desirable unit. This unit also came with the plugs for these instead of the rack handles. We are listing a set of rack handles online separately. I mean, if you want to purchase them, put them in through the back. Uh, that's up to you. It would look nice, really decent. I do like the plugs myself. I do like the wooden case. I think it actually looks better than the black metal case. And I just want to show you the condition of it. And I'm going to go slow. It's a very nice looking wooden case on it. And we're also going to include the copy of the manual. Um, you do have the original box. We do have the original box for it. And their serial number match. This was all actually bought over from a German base. That's we got it from an original owner. And uh, very nice looking unit. I'm gonna go down through. Now right now we have a tape going through the tape monitor or a CD actually. I'm gonna switch it over to uh, so you can see all the top lights to work on it. It's a very gorgeous looking unit. There's Phono 1, Phono 2, Auxiliary. And I'll go down through your FM. Then that's your FM stereo there. You can see it untuned. Very nice operating. And what's nice when you kick it off to Auxiliary or something, your indicator, little light there, turns off. Um, all your you have actual, on your bigger receivers, you have your bass, mid, and treble, all three of these. And you have different ranges for your watt meters there, if you want to turn them on. Now, I'm going to turn it up here a little bit. We're actually, this is rated at 160 watts per channel. Very nice power for the unit, very large unit. Um, it has a lot of nice features. It has a couple double uh, loudness switches, one and two. Now you can run this straight up where these none of these will work or bring them on. Your mid range. Nice trouble. Very nice sounding unit. Very nice looking unit. Like I say, this is the 220 version too. Has a switch on the rear. Um, you can go to a website there and you'll see the different you know, marks on the back. This originally did come with the wooden case. A lot of guys will buy them for the other unit. So, let's go down through. It's got little foam feet down below. We did get a photo of the bottom. Very nice looking. Any questions? I'm going to switch it back to the... Well, actually I had it in tape one here. So let me switch this up to tape one. 
Very nice operating unit. I'm going to sit back and listen to it. Any questions, please email. Thanks for watching my video.